Hello, Chad Azul. We're going to have a quick look at gold today. Um, seen a little bit of an uptick in interest with our clients anyway after this little rally it's had the uh, last few days. So I'm going to just have a look at some of the technicals here and some of the indicators I use that when I trade this gold. And I, I prefer the longer time frame. So I'm going to look at the daily chart. Now, the first indicator I really love with gold is the RSI. Um, you can see on a daily a daily time frame when this hits these oversold levels um, back here in February as well. Quite often it will uh, be a prediction of a price reversal. Uh, it does work quite well. Obviously you don't take it on its own, but certainly as a confirmation of other signals, it's it's a pretty good one. You can see down here oversold again. It took a few days to turn around, but it turned around it did. Here is a bit quicker. Um, so definitely one to keep an eye on. Now looking at the recent price action. I mean, gold has had a good rally. Um, yesterday managed to stay flat despite a really strong US dollar, which is a good sign for the uh, gold bulls. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at these trend lines that we've seen gold trading in uh, since May this year. Um, we go down quite a uh, nice, neat downward sloping channel we have uh, for the last four months or so, three months. So you'll be looking at um, these channel lines as some support or resistance going forward. So that would bring um, the levels to watch around these lines when they do get to them um, to see if they hold. Another pretty important level I'm keeping an eye on is this what was a pretty big support level here around 1906 or so. Um, if you look back in the past, so it's, it's been an important level quite a few times where you've seen the price test and come through or find some resistance um, going back even longer than that. You see it's um, certainly been an important level in gold the last couple of years anyway. Now, what I'm also looking at too is the Fibonacci's. I do, I am a fan of Fibonacci retracements. If we look at from the Feb high lows, sorry, to uh, the May highs there, we do actually see that that major support level around that 1906 does match up pretty well with the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Um, this will be a key level around this 1906, whether this holds. We have Jackson Hole, obviously, tomorrow, later today and tomorrow. This, If this 1906 can hold... Um, any kind of dollar strength and a push down in gold, um, you would expect it to form a good support if it can hold that and probably head up towards this trend line. A break of this support here, uh, with a, if, if uh, Powell is very hawkish and we see a very strong US dollar, then the next level I'd be looking for is this, is this lower trend line. Oh, sorry, the lows here, 1st of August, um, as a bit of support. And then after that would be down here. So keep an eye on that level, very important. Another market to keep an eye on uh, which a lot of gold traders don't do, but they should. I'll just remove these drawings. Is uh, the correlation between gold and US 10 year yields very highly related because gold is a, a not a yielding instrument? Um, it is in competition with bonds, and bonds are seen as a safe haven as well, um, but they give you some interest, they yield. So the higher the yield on bonds, uh, the less attractive gold is. So you will see that negative correlation where when yields go up, gold prices will go down. And we've the, the recent turn we've seen is this um, from last week when the where yields have started to drop, we've seen gold go up. Um, yields had a little bounce last night, so that's very a good sign for the gold bulls that gold still held on, even though those yields popped up. So definitely want to keep an eye on too, those 10-year yields. And where we're seeing the 10-year year yields at the moment is a pretty elevated level around the highest levels we've seen you know, post-pandemic, which is um, just over this 4% mark. There is a bit of resistance up here on yields getting any higher. Uh, could be another good sign for, for gold as well, that if it can hold up while its yields are this high, once they start dropping, gold will have that tailwind behind it. But Keep an eye on those yields. If they do break out, um, it's going to be pretty hard going for gold, I would think, to get to these highs that were set in July.